So our transition to EVs will bring new and exciting opportunities in the new green economy. Engineering students can look forward to jobs and training in new areas such as EV software diagnostics, battery and charging infrastructure. Well, the car has changed a lot from the first car which had zero suspension to a very sophisticated car that we have now. We've got quite a lot of innovations throughout and a lot of things are electronically controlled. So it's a far cry from the first car that we had, which was totally mechanical and manual. You can work on batteries, you can work on the aerodynamics, you can work practically on literally all the whole car. The whole car is basically from scratch, ground up, everything is done by students. The performance is usually much greater than a typical road car and the tolerances are much smaller as well. So we need to make sure that we work very well together to ensure that none of our components uh, coincide with each other or interfere and they can work seamlessly with each other to produce such a race car. It's a very connected way of driving. You feel everything that's going on in the car and it's very direct. The response is extremely fast. And of course, the performance is incredible. Power to weight ratio is incredible for a car that was just built by students. And most importantly, it's safe to drive. And that gives me the confidence to push the limits and go faster and faster.